Are you expressive? Do you have opinions about appreciation for cultural diversity, inclusion, social justice, or community activism? Are you a poet, a lyricist, an artist, or a musician? Do you need a forum where you can be expressive and share your creativity? If the answer is yes, we need you front and center for this year's Cesar Chavez Si Se Puede, Yes We Can Kermes, Thursday, April 27th. We are looking for students wanting to exhibit their creativity and talents through poetry, spoken word, music, dance, graffiti art, or any other forms of expression. Be part of the movement. Please contact Mr. Grimes in room 605 or Mr. Hoyt in room 293 ASAP. Space is limited and time is running out. Don't miss out. Welcome back, Steelman. We hope you had a great weekend. You're watching the Tuesday, March 7th edition of the SNN News with me, Lauren, and my friends. Julius Central Seniors, now is the time to purchase your senior ad. Include your favorite pictures or saying from your high school experience to be displayed in the 2016-2017 yearbook. You control the design. Go to www.yearbookordercenter.com and search Joliet Central. Remember, first come, first serve. Now through the end of March. For any questions, email smannering at jths.org or visit room 277. Did you know that one in three women across the world experience violence? 62 million girls are denied an education all over the world. Four out of five victims of human trafficking are girls. White women earn 70 cents for every man's white man's dollar. Women of color are even less. Wednesday, March 8th, is the International Women's Day, a day to bring awareness to all, the, all of these issues and more. To help create awareness across our school, wear your Fearless Females t-shirts or other women's rights apparel tomorrow, tomorrow. Then stop by room 750 to enter for a chance to win a prize. Stay for the Fearless Females meeting after school too. New members are always welcome. AP students, remember that the AP opt-out forms and AP fee reduction forms are due on Wednesday, March 8th. Late forms will not be accepted. Please stop by Mr. Lutz's room in room 381 to pick up and drop off forms. Now here's Shelby and Garrett with some more announcements. Steel readers, voting has begun to choose this year's favorite Abe Lincoln book. If you have read any Lincoln books this year, the library staff would like you to help us choose a winner. The top choices which will be announced before spring break Please stop by the circulation desk to obtain a voting ballot. Steel Artists, in order to promote Disney's Beauty and the Beast movie, the library is promoting an art contest. Draw a picture of Belle or the Beast, or both, caught in the act of reading. Artwork will be placed into a drawing for a $20 gift card to the movie theater. The last day to turn in artwork is Thursday, March 16th. The winner will be announced on Friday, March 17th. The next book club meeting is Monday, March 20th after school in the downstairs library. Please come pick up this month's book, The Truth About Alice and or The Lumberjanes. Also, please return your copies of Ready, Player One, and any other book club book you still have. Snacks will be served. Okay guys, what's for lunch? Today's lunch is soft shell taco, pepperoni caldo, barbecue chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, spicy grilled chicken deli sandwich, Chef side with chicken, cheese crackers and breadstick, nachos with cheese. And your choice was up to four half cup servings of guacamole, refried beans, marinara or salsa, sliced tomato, lettuce and pickle, pineapple chunks, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Wednesday's breakfast is fresh baked cinnamon roll and your choice of two half cup servings of fruit. Wednesday's lunch is macaroni and cheese, cheese pizza, spicy breaded chicken sandwich, veggie burger, Ham deli sandwich, chef salad with boiled eggs, cheese crackers and breadstick, basso cheddar cheese stuffed pretzel with cheese, and your choice with up to four half cup servings of sliced carrots with dip, steamed broccoli, marinara or salsa, sliced tomato, lettuce and pickle, apple juice, variety of fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Now that's all for today, Steelman. Thanks for watching and have a great week. Miss Chisholm, Mrs. Edwards, and Mr. Grzadich have submitted three Thank America Teachers Farmer Insurance Grants. Winning these grants will bring much needed equipment to our physical education programs. Winning requires obtaining the most votes. We need help. We need help from our colleagues and our students 
and all of our friends, family, community, Facebook friends, anybody and everybody. That means you. All you have to do is put one vote in per day for the entire month of March. This is March. One vote per day for all three submissions. Winning this grant will qualify us to win a grant for $100,000. $100,000. That's a lot of money. Just follow the link on our homepage for daily announcements. There's a link there. And uh, when you search for the city of Joliet, you'll see all three submissions. Please, please, please. Vote once a day, every day. Once a day, every day. Every day I vote for Joliet for all three grant proposals. Okay, and then here's some instructions for how to vote. Download a QR code reader. Gotta do that first. Download a QR code reader. You need an app for that. Scan the QR code. Enter Joliet in the city text box. Click search, vote for all three grant proposals, and confirm your vote by opening your email and click the link. I know it's a lot of work, but we really appreciate your assistance. We're eligible for a lot of money, so please help us out. Thank you.